There's one other consideration I wanted to talk to you about when it comes to having within subjects or repeated measures factors in your studies. We're currently talking about the study with uh, three <clears throat> techniques to find contacts in a smartphone contacts manager. And we have uh, the consideration of the format that the data tables take. It turns out something as seemingly simple as data table format affects the kinds of analyses that most statistical packages can actually do. So you should know the difference. There are long format and wide format data tables, like you see in this example slide here. A long format table means that every row only contains one measure for the subject for a given dependent variable. So we have in the long format table on the left, we have subject as a column. We have the independent variable, might be in our case technique here, uh, but more generally it's say x. Uh, then we have the order variable, which gives us the presentation order so we can test for order effects. And then we have our measure y. We could have other measures as well, but the point is that we only have for, for a given y, we only have one measure per row in a long format table. So that means that subject has to be replicated across different lines. You can see here subject is entered three times for each subject according to each of the three levels of the technique or x factor in this table. So that's a long format table and most R analyses require a long format table. They're nice because they're easy to write in log files after each trial in, a, in an experiment. So a subject finds a contact uh, or, or uh, uh, does a text entry um, phrase or performs some other kind of task and you write out that line in a table. But some analyses require wide format tables and older statistical packages and older analyses within them often require wide format tables. A wide format table is where each row in the table contains all of the measures for a given subject. That way the table knows that one row came from one subject. So the subject column actually technically is not needed, but I always like to use it just for clarity. You can see here that the tables are equivalent in terms of the data they hold. But now the x factor or the, the technique factor in our particular example, scroll, search, and voice is encoded as column names, as is the order variable 1, 2, and 3. So we have to tell our analysis software at some point that those three columns make up a single factor. And you can see that all the measures for a given subject are in one row. Not many analyses in R rely on tables of this format, but a few do including when we do some within subjects analyses. So it's important to be aware of these differences. Let's go now and look at our R code where we will see how wide format and long format tables are used.